Hey everyone, it's winter, which is a great time to be out on the lakes chasing some trout. I'm on Lake Parambee this afternoon. Uh, we've got quite a big northwesterly wind, so I'm tucked up on the northern shore at the moment, getting out of the wind. But the plan is I'm going to work around with some streamers. I've got a couple of rods set up, which I'll explain a bit later. Um, but it will poke around out of the wind just for efficiency's sake and because it'll be more pleasant. But depending on how we go, we may hit the windward shore later, which will be blowing hard, but it may be good as well. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, because of the way the wind is, we may as well start a drift up shallow, come out through some weed pockets and weed beds and then drop off the ledge. I'll kind of navigate my way through with the electric, but it actually looks kind of colored in here after some of the big rain. So it'll be interesting. Just got two flies here um, on a straight fluorocarbon leader. They're on 3X fluoro. Um, I find when I'm you know, fishing from the boat downwind, I don't like having a tapered leader on. I just want a direct connection from my fly line to my flies. And you'll find that, you know, if you're using sinking lines at all, there's enough energy going through there that it does work out okay. And you won't need that taper. So we'll just poke through some of this and, yeah, see how it goes. It'll give us a really good feel for what's happening here. Got him, what's that? It's another red fin. It's a nice one, what a take that was. That was a really good dunk. Strong fish. Come on, matey. That is a really tanky one. Come on. Check out the shoulders on that one. <laughs> All right, well, where I started was not good, which surprised me. I didn't actually create a chance uh, for a trout that was, or salmon. So I've just shuffled along, fishing in another piece of water here. I'm just gonna keep shuffling and moving in any water where it's kind of calm and I can fish with a lot of control. And then if I can't catch them doing this, I'm going to have to push down into some really nice water that'll be really hard to fish in the wind, but I will deal with that when we come to it. Got you. Oh, is that a double? No way. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that got polaxed. Oh, that hurts. I can't believe that. I'm gonna to have to watch that back, but I'm pretty sure oh, that cast on that weed clump. I had a double then. It looked like I had a brown on the point, and a rainbow flew and ate the top, and one did me in the weed, and then the rainbow came off. Got you. Oh wow, that is a big fish. What is that? Holy... Oh my gosh! Stay out of that weed. It's a big brown. I think, unless it's a big tiger. That's amazing, because moments before... I had that heartbreak where I had two come off. Oh! That's a seriously big brown, I reckon. I 
manage all this line. Oh, that is why you want to have fleur that you're happy with. That is a lovely brown. Just stay down. is the worst part especially because this one's jumping um, oh. come on <laughs> is a absolute belter. Well, check out this. For a spectacular specimen of a brown trout, that is just an amazing fish. So, so, so cool. We'll get this lovely fish back. Go. Oh, oh, how good. That was awesome. So good. I shuffled out, set up another drift, and it was on the ledge again. I'm just gonna shuffle out so I don't play this fish through the water I wanted to fish next. Yeah, it's a rainbow. Just a very determined one. is a very solid fish. <laughs> a fight that chunky rainbow put up. Really nice healthy fish. That is like a seriously solid fish when you look at the depth of that. What a chunk. Thank you mate. All right back to it. I actually I wish I had something you know um, cool or a cool interesting tip to say like Oh, I'm doing this to get the fish to, you know, respond like this to the flies. But so far in these conditions, because the wind is quite gusty, I've essentially just tried to fish with good line control. I didn't see like any trout on my first drift, my first two drifts even, um, and then shuffled down here and kind of found them. So it's very much just been being persistent, fishing with good line control, being tight to your flies early, and then just mix up the retrieve every now and again to try and, you know, elicit a take and keep yourself sane so you're not just kind of grinding away too much because some days you can kind of find out how they want it but so far i think well what it's felt like just now is it's kind of like just cover some water and actually just find some fish when you find the right ones they're going to eat it well um whereas i spent probably too long earlier fishing in kind of you know nothing water or water where the fish weren't up and about and really keen to eat All right, believe it or not, the wind has eased a little so that I can come down onto this southeastern shoreline and get some drifts in here. The way I've seen it so far this afternoon is I feel like if I just get some drifts into here and hit the ledge, I'll be able to create another chance, I think.
got him. Oh, what? No way. Did you see that? Oh. <laughs> that just creamed a gold humongous. Come on, buddy. What a fish. Oh. Come on, don't jump. Stay down. Got another big brown. It's fishing so differently to last season. I don't want this fish to jump like that. <laughs> it is a brown. Got it way down. Come on. No, don't do that. Gotcha. Oh, that is a nice brown. That is another cracker. Oh. Have a look at that beautiful brown trout. That is an absolute stunner. That is a cracker. And it's woofed the gold humongous. Here he goes. So I've just set up for another drift, but I thought good time to let you know what I'm fishing and kind of what the setup is today and what has been working. So it's been a, uh, a 353, which is like a five sweep line, which is a really good fly line. If you're fishing out wide, it casts really well. Uh, it's just a great all round um, line if you are on some deeper lakes. Then the leader wise, I'm fishing straight 3X fluorocarbon the whole way through. My flies are about six foot apart. Um, but it's just level. I like level uh, level leaders. You don't need the turnover because you've got the punch of the beads and the heavy fly line as well. So super easy, super simple. And then fly-wise, I've just been fishing, well, catching on a humongous and an orange beater magoo. Again, really simple flies. You can uh, check all that stuff out. Gear, uh, flies, leader, all of that stuff. It'll be in the, uh, the description. You can all purchase that. Just have a look at the links there. And uh, yeah, we'll get back into fishing. Go on, eat it again. Got him. Oh, are you for real? No way. Stay up. I went rip, 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 stopped it, saw the boil. Stay up out of that weed. Oh, went through that weed and just clean broke me. Oh, no. That is absolutely shattering. You can't do much about that though when they go around these weed clumps. Gosh. What is that? That is a salmon. That is a beautiful salmon. Oh, taking off. I'm pretty sure it's a salmon. Unless it's a big, oh, it's got the shape of it. On the roly poly. Oh, yeah, it is. Come on, matey. What a beautiful fish. So strong. Come on. Oh. Oh. Gee, 
Check out that for a stunning little Chinook salmon there. I think we're getting joined by fisheries as well. We'll send this lovely guy back. Ooh. Well, that was kind of random, but lovely Chinook. And then, um, oh, my stuff there. Um, and then water police came over and checked, so they were super lovely. You don't normally see them here, but um, yeah, cool that they're out. We're just going to keep doing these drifts in because I think um, the way it's been, you know, we may uh, we may pick up a couple more fish here. Oh, go on, got you. Got him. I think it's another Chinook. It is too. Oh, that is awesome. You would have seen that big boil like out on top out there. Oh, such strong fish. That is a cool fish. Oh. <laughs> they are awesome. How cool. Another turbocharged Chinook. Look at the forked tail. They are just a gnarly fish. Oh, sorry, you're okay, mate. And the black mouth is just epic. All right, well, the rain's setting in, it's five o'clock, so I think I'm probably done. But uh, that was a really, really fun and cool afternoon of fishing. It started out really, really hard. And I guess the moral of the story is kind of, well, the lesson is fish within your means. Don't overfish, don't try too hard. Just keep covering water and eventually you'll kind of find some fish and, and get your opportunities. And like my rig today was so simple. I was on my 10 foot seven weight here, my recon. I had a type five the uh, 353 SA and then I just had like a humongous on the top and a orange beater magoo on the point and just chipped away at them so look keep moving it was a bit of fun um, don't forget you can find all links to the gear all of that in the uh, description below the video and if you did want to come out and do this uh, you can you can jump over to my website have a look tomjarmanfishing.com and uh, you can book a day on the water, be it boat, land-based, on a river, during the river season, anything you like. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next video.